Dispelling the Myths, TBI and PTSD, CAP Innovation Day, Assistive Technology Demonstration, Literacy Software, Mike Young. This is literacy software, and you're going to be able to see how I'm able to uh, modify the information that I need to access quite a bit. This may be an email that my boss sends to me, maybe a memo, whatever type of electronic information. And let's say that I have a receptive language issue. I've worked with many people who the eyes are not injured. I can see 2020, but they say, Mike, if you put words in front of me, it's like looking at chicken scratches now. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time getting the meaning and understanding that this is a symbol for such an object or a, an idea. So this will do lots of things. One of the key things that it will do at first. Most common for the first deaf blind person in the United States to be educated. Contrary to popular belief. So number one, it's reading it aloud to me. So if I have a visual processing issue, I'm probably relying on my strong suit of hearing. And that's what I'm using to get the job done for you, my boss. So it's letting me process the information, work with it, do what I need to do. At the same time, I can start building again my visual uh, recognition. You see that I have this height set to highlight on every sentence that's being read in one color and the individual word in, in another. I can change those colors depending on what's easiest for me to see. I can have it highlighted line at a time, very customized. Sometimes there might be too much information going on at once on the screen, too many words, too confusing, too hard for me to track. So I can increase the size, maybe not so much to accommodate a, a lack of vision, but to accommodate getting more information off the screen and easier for me to concentrate on what is there. Maybe I have problems with uh, remembering the meaning of words. Up here, I click definition. Here's a talking dictionary. Believe. Now, one. Imagine that condition or habit of placing trust or confidence in another by believing you is as strong as ever. I can also use this to organize information for myself with uh, maybe using the highlighting tool. I may indicate uh, high-level amounts of information in yellow. Then I might select green to highlight um, information of a secondary nature. However, I need to organize it. And then even if maybe at a uh, lower level, a third level of importance, I might go to blue. So I can save this document as it is with those highlightings that way. Or I can go into extracting my highlights, select the colors that I want to have, and then there at the bottom are all my main ideas broken out in one, all my sub-ideas and all my lower level ideas broken out all at once for me. So I can really customize how I can or organize the information based on what I need. And really this is the very tip of the iceberg with the capabilities of this program. But just wanted you to know how both uh, visual and auditory information can be really pretty easily manipulated with the right tool based on a person's needs. For more information, visit www.cap.mil.